Okay. Shoot it off. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. I can, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was just flashed by the camera, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're making what I am calling a califam... <laughs> Califlamanama. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. We are making a California sangria. Yes, we are. I am Kate Boyer, your lazy bartender. And you know what that means? Just a few ingredients. So today we are using California Merlot. We are using cherries. Um, I'm not a big fan of cherries, just to let you know. But that's what the recipe calls for. And we are using bourbon. Bourbon, and I, I'm gonna do this. I am. I'm gonna say we're using Old Forester, just because I'm really enjoying this bourbon. So I'm letting you in on this little secret. So shh. Okay. So we are taking. This is you know sort of new territory for the lazy bartender because we need to muddle. 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 I mean that that just sounds like. I don't sounds know. like a Harry Potter character. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Thank you. And since um, our cameraman chimed in so eloquently just now, I do have to share that he is not wearing pants. And that means no underwear, too. But, you know, it's a little bit of eye candy for the lazy bartender. Okay, so we need four cherries. That's three. Four. And we are going to muddle. Muddle, muddle, muddle. Now, if you've been watching the show... You know that I use very, very few tools. Ex tools, accessories, you know. So we are muddling with our knife. And we're just muddling along, you know. Squish, squish, squish. Muddle, muddle, muddle. Okay. I think that's pretty good. You know, you can muddle as long as you want. I'm not going to judge. But I do think you need to do this. Mmm. Okay, so now that we've muddled, we need uh, one and a half ounces of Merlot. What did you say, uh, cameraman Bill? I just said that sounds dirty. Sounds dirty the way you said that. Uh, you know, it, it comes out the way it comes out. I cannot <laughs> take <laughs> any um, credit. Credit. <laughs> <for it. laughs> Let's get back to the recipe, shall we? I'm much better at that at this point. One and a half ounces of Merlot, California Merlot, and California. we need an ounce of our good old Old Forester bourbon, which is a hundred proof, people. So I don't think I need to say anything else regarding that. One ounce goes in here. We need a slice of lemon, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Now, a little tip from your lazy bartender. To make your lemon nice and juicy, just push on it real hard and roll it back and forth. Just, mmm, mmm. Okay. That's good. It's nice and soft now. Got now, all the juice is flowing. The juices are glistening. Not just flowing, but glistening. Okay, so let's flick the seeds out here. That's why it's handy to use a knife for everything regarding your bartending needs. So we put a slice of lemon in. Let's throw some ice in so we can make this nice and chill. Okay, so we have our cherries, our Merlot, our bourbon, our lemon slice. We're going to throw it all in the shaker, shake it up. All right, uh, that feels just about right to me. Let's move in the glass. Let's get rid of you glistening lemons. And... Glistening lemons, the name of my new band. <laughs> really, that's very um, interesting. Okay, so it's a pretty color. You know, we have um, high hopes for this little California sangria. Oh, 
Okay, this is how I can explain it. Pretend like you started walking from the East Coast to the West Coast and you had the same pair of damn tennis shoes on the whole way. And then when you got to the West Coast, you're like, yeah, I made it. So I'm celebrating with Merlot, lemon, and bourbon. I'm going to mix it all in my shoe because those little puppies took me from the East to the West Coast. And then you were so brilliant that you're like, you know, this should be strained. So you put it in your sock that you wore the whole time. Yeah, there's holes in it, but you know, you got to work with what you have. So you strain it through that sock and you put it in the glass and you take a sip. That's what you have here, right here. I would not recommend having this, but if you have a strong stomach, go for it. Or if you like to walk. One more sip just to, you know, see how it goes down. Wow, that's like 100 year old granny ass. Mm. Mm. Um. This is empty. Did you drink it all? What's going on? Uh, not me. It's okay. We, we got plenty. We thought we had another one.